Hey there guys and welcome to what I'm hoping is the start of a new series here on my YouTube channel. This is a show that I'm going to call Almost Food to fit along with the Almost Interesting, Almost Gaming, da -da -da, etc. Almost themed. And I guess I try things that are possibly almost food and decide whether they are food or not. In seriousness, this is going to be a food review show where I find some interesting looking foods, some things that I've wanted to try, uh, things that I see in the store that catch my eye uh, that I want to try, and I make a video about them to tell you all what I think about them and score them and see if it's something that you should try. So, for our first entry, I'm going to review something that I happened to find randomly in a Dollar General was walking through the Dollar General store and my eyes landed on a shelf that said Merry Christmas because retail seems to want to rush to its favorite holiday and bypass pretty much all the rest of them. Uh, but it was in examining the contents of the shelf that I found these. This is a special holiday edition pecan or pecan or pecan or that nut that grows in Georgia pie Pringles. Yes, pecan pie Pringles. I was uh, simultaneously intrigued and disgusted. Which of those I am more will be determined by this video. So on these videos I'm going to look at the look of the packaging, the look of the food, going to taste the food and describe it for you, um, and then talk about the value and give an overall recommendation. I'm going to give each of those categories a score out of 5 and then a total score obviously out of 20. Um, in most cases in these videos I am going to try to have not tasted the food at all before I try it on the video because I want you to get my initial honest reaction. Uh, that may not always be possible. If it isn't I will tell you when I make the videos so that you realize that. But in this case, I have not tried these at all yet, so you will be getting my genuine first overall reaction to how pecan pie Pringles taste. So first let's start with the look of the packaging. It has a very obviously holiday kind of a look to it. Um, the can has a primarily purple background. Um, one thing that I do like is right here, um, they put limited time only on kind of a, a kind of a Christmas present tag. I thought that was a nice touch instead of just slapping it on the can somewhere. They kind of worked it into the overall look. Um, there's a very nice looking pile of pecans there with some cream on top, as you would imagine on top of a pecan pie. Uh, and then you have this yellow section. I like the logo. I like and don't like the logo, actually, if you if you look here. Um, the logo, you have the classic Pringles logo, or at least the updated version of the classic Pringles logo. Um, and I like that there's the pie there, and it says pecan pie, but this artificially flavored, written in dark, kind of takes away from it. It almost looks like the pie was branded. <laughs> and the fact that the pie was branded with the words artificially flavored kind of takes away from the whole idea. I know you wouldn't expect a potato chip to naturally taste like pecan pie, but uh, just the aesthetics of it kind of take away from that. But the main thing about this packaging that really gets to me is I can't tell what this yellow section is supposed to be. Um, it looks kind of like a coffee cup, but you wouldn't put pecans on top of a coffee cup. So, you know, and it looks kind of like a towel. I think it's supposed to be a cup of some kind, uh, but that doesn't make any sense. So it really does take away from it there. Um, the title packaging, if you will, is repeated uh, twice right next to each other. And then on the back, you have the nutritional information. Um, the fact that they continue this purple color around the entire can um, does kind of make the nutritional information blend in very nicely and it doesn't look too out of place. The only problem is is that all that little information about ingredients and stuff below is printed in black on purple, which makes it next to impossible to read, as if the ingredients were easy enough to read already. There are some good elements to the aesthetics of this can, but I don't like that the pattern is repeated twice. Um, I feel like they could have used that space to make one 
more visually pleasing or eye-catching design. Um, they get some points again for how the nutritional information stands out from the purple background and then they lose them right away because you can't really read the ingredients. Um, that all kind of works out to an average look, so I give the look of the packaging a 3 out of 5. Alright, all of that being said, let's move on to the look of the food. A Pringles chip is pretty much a Pringles chip. It's light yellow in color. It has this kind of droopy U-shape to it. You can put two together and make a duck bill if you wanted to. But one thing that bugs me about this chip in particular is that the flavoring they put on here, uh, for whatever reason, gives the chip a dusty or moldy look. The flavoring is is gray or brownish, and and that's not appetizing. This is kind of a chip that you need to just eat without looking at it because, yeah, I, the gray brownish kind of look on top is not something that that I like to eat or think about eating. But other than that. It's definitely your standard Pringles chip. Pringles are always kind of more solid and whole looking than your standard potato chip, so it does get points for that. So there we go. Scoring the look of this is kind of difficult because I go back and forth. Pringles is a good looking potato chip, which would make me want to put it as high as a four, but the fact that the, the dusted flavor looks like mold kind of takes it down to a two. So I give the look of this Pringles chip a three out of five. All right, the moment of truth. It's time to tell you how these things taste. Before I mention that, you know, a big part of taste is smell, and to just let you know, these have a smell kind of like maple syrup, not even necessarily maple syrup. To be honest, what it really reminds me of is if you've ever had a McDonald's breakfast, you know, that kind of breakfast platter with the, with the syrup containers, it kind of has that smell to it. It's, it's almost more of a cheap syrup smell. It doesn't smell like pecans at all, to be honest. They might... They might be going for brown sugar. That's a possibility. Both sides of the chips smell pretty much the same, so I'm thinking the flavorings on both sides. Just in case, I am going to try two. One eating it the way you're supposed to, and then the other upside down to see if the flavoring hits first. Here goes nothing. Let's go ahead and try it the other way. If I can get another one out. This might sound a little simplistic, but it kind of tastes like if I took a regular, normal flavored Pringles chip and put it in my mouth and then did a shot of like Denny syrup and then ate it together. It, it honestly, it tastes like a potato chip with syrup on it. Syrup flavored potato chip. To be honest, I don't really get anything pecan pie flavored from it at all. I'm not sure how close they could get to that or again what flavor they were going for. I mean when you make a pecan pie you have things like brown sugar, corn syrup, you know, maybe they were going for a syrupy flavor. The flavors don't really mesh. You get the syrupy flavor and then you get the Pringles flavor and it kind of just goes back and forth instead of combining into one flavor. It's not entirely unpleasant. Um, I don't know if it's something I would want to eat on purpose, you know, but if they were being served at a party, I might take a little stack and, uh, and have some. These Pringles are responsible for starting this video series because I was like, oh, those sound interesting. Oh, but I don't know if I want to try them. But if I try them, I can make a video about it and let other people know if they're good. And thus, Almost Food was born. You get a salt flavor, which is weird. I know that salt can serve as a flavor enhancer even in sweet foods, but I think that's partially responsible for that syrup flavor and then Pringles flavor. You get salt on the aftertaste, and that takes away from the idea 
that, that these are supposed to be sweet. In scoring the flavor, I have to say that I find the flavor average, but it's not true to advertising. It definitely doesn't taste like pecan pie. It tastes like regular Pringles with a shot of syrup. So I give the flavor of these Pringles a two out of five. Now it's time to talk about the value of the product, and that is one area where Pringles excels. Uh, the cans of Pringles are usually a dollar, maybe a dollar and a half, and for that you actually get about 90 chips according to the serving size information. There may be more, there may be less. All in all, on average, you're really talking about one cent a chip, and for a chip that, like I said, is always sturdy and, you know, you much less often see chips all like crumbled up and broken up than you would in a bag of potato chips. Uh, you get the solid cardboard packaging of Pringles, uh, which helps protect the chips. So they're always, you know, pretty good and they're always nice and solid. They're a good solid chip that you can dip. You know, they're good for dipping. It's hard to give Pringles a bad score for value. Um, I would say five out of five. Um, I may be letting the flavor portion creep into the value section here, but if I spend my dollar, dollar and a half on pecan pie Pringles and that's not what I get, then I'm going to feel that my value is diminished a little bit. So as for the value of pecan pie Pringles, I'm giving them a four out of five. So just to wrap things up, we had a score of three out of five for the look of the packaging, a three out of five for the look of the chip, a two out of five for the taste of the chip, and a four out of five for overall value. That gives a total score of 12 out of 20. And while you might think that over 10 would be a recommendation, however slight, uh, full disclosure, I actually recorded a section of this where I said that I did ever so slightly recommend them, and then I found myself putting in a lot of disclaimers, like only if you realize they taste, they don't taste like pecan pie, uh, only if you like sweet and salty chips or you're adventurous, and I realized if I'm saying only if, only if, only if, I'm not recommending it to the average consumer. So I'm going to go ahead and give these an overall rating of do not recommend. I mainly think it's the look of the chip. The flavoring that they pick just gives it a very dusty, moldy type of a look that makes it not visually appealing to eat. It wasn't what I was expecting. It wasn't what I wanted, really. Um, that being said, now I can flip this kind of around and say I do recommend it as long as you realize it doesn't taste like pecan pie. It just tastes like syrup Pringles. You might maybe have them with breakfast, maybe have them with pancakes or eggs or bacon or something like that, as weird as that sounds. Uh, if you're kind of adventurous, if you're kind of an adventurous foodie and you want to try new things, go ahead and give them a shot. They're not bad by any means. You know, they're on the lower side of average, I would say. Um, just realize they don't taste like pecan pie. They taste like syrup. Um, it's not a huge waste of money, you know. But yeah, to the overall person wondering if you should pick these up and you have no special reason to, um, I can't recommend them. Thumbs down. That's going to do it for the very first edition of Almost Food. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would click that thumbs up button that's right down below the video down there to let me know that you liked it. Uh, I make videos like this. I make food videos, Power Rangers videos, uh, sports videos, video game videos, personal vlogs. My channel is becoming very diverse and varied, which is something that I like, and I hope that you like it as well. If that sounds like something that you would like, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there. Uh, that will let you know whenever I post a video, and you can see some of the other things that I have posted. This edition of Almost Food was actually a two-for-one. You can go ahead and click this window to see the second edition, which is the Little Caesars Hot and Ready Pretzel Crust Cheese Sauce Pepperoni Pizza. Uh, spoilers, I'm going to give that a much higher score than I gave these Pringles, so go ahead and give that a watch right here. Uh, like I said, like the video if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe to see my other videos. Leave me some comments. Have you tried these pecan pie Pringles? What did you think of them? Did this review make you want to try them or make you decide not to try them? You know, leave me some comments, engage with me, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching once again. I appreciate it very much, and until next time, have a good one.